It's a pleasure to have you all here today. In Taiwan, as many of you may know, we have a tradition of giving large phenolopsis part as gift to show our gratitude and goodwill to our friends, family, or business partner. It was five years ago, our office was graced with several splendid orchid parts. This vibrant orchid instantly captured the attention of every passing colleague filling an office with a delightful festival atmosphere. And this flower arrangement often consists of 5 to 9 plants and could stand as tall as 120 centimeters. But then reality hit. As the flower wilted over time, we faced disposal problems. That made us wonder if we were the part-time waste handlers. These orchid parts were filled with expanded polystyrene, commonly known as EBS or styrofoam. Since EBS was contaminated with soil and the plant residues, they could not be recycled and became general waste. As for the porcelain pot, unless they were in perfect condition for the flower shop to reuse, they were regarded as industrial waste with disposal fee. Although we always manage these wilted orchid parts responsibly, it was distressing to see that not everyone did the same. Many wilted orchid parts were abandoned in any ways or less populated areas, leading to a lot of environmental problems. It was during this time that I wondered, isn't there a more eco-friendly way to deal with this? A more creative, more ideal, more innovative solution to solve this issue? So we spoke with the industry experts to understand their current challenge. These challenges include the rising eco-consciousness among consumers, increasing cost, labor shortage, and the gap in training young florists. This table outlines the price and cost structure of a seven plant in the Lapsisky Park. Kindly note that all percentage in this table represent the proportion of the selling price. For example, the material cost accounted for 15% of the selling price, which was 46 and 5 cents US dollars. Now let's get back in 2019. The selling price for a seven plant phenolopsis gift part was around 93 US dollars. With 26% profit margin in the peak season, and 17% profit margin during the off-peak season. Here you may want to ask, why there is such a big difference between peak and off-peak season? The key factor is the sales value. Higher sales value in the peak season led to lower average labor cost, in this case 9%, but the labor cost doubled to 18% in the off-peak season due to lower sales value. Now moving to 2023, despite the increase in the price to 100 US dollars, the material cost also soared to 60% of the selling price, resulting in 15% profit in the peak season and a meager 5% profit margin during the off-peak season. Here I'd like to explain that unlike the daily necessities, this is a market filled with alternatives such as other flowers, fruits, or even cookie gift boxes. It's challenging for business to raise the price enough to offset this increasing cost. And consequently, business often have to absorb most increasing costs by themselves. This line illustrates the contrast between peak and off-peak season. In the peak season, we can see a surge of orders leading to inevitable work overtime and labor shortage. During the off-peak season, the market slows down with far fewer orders, resulting in an excessive workforce. As I explained in the previous slide, by 2023, the profit margin during off-peak season had dropped to a meager 5%, barely covering basic operational expenses. In such a competitive market, 
many businesses were compelled to shut down. We often encounter a common blind spot, you cannot have both. Boosting productivity while hiring fewer people seems impossible. Maintaining design flexibility while simplifying the assembly process seems contradictory. Creating sunny display without extending the assembly time, using recyclable material while cutting costs, increasing profits while improving wages. This appears to be conflicting goals, but are they really conflicting goals? Can we have both? Can we find a way to have it all? The answer is yes. What we need is an innovative solution. Therefore, we delve into the market to understand the requirement of the business and uh, their product designers. Our R&D team kept brainstorming for two years. After two years, our R&D team emerged again, slightly older and out of charge, but finally proposed to innovative products. The orchid assembly tray with the detachable flower stand. Let's first take a closer look at the orchid assembly tray. Our R&D team designed this tray as a substitute for the EPS to support orchid plants at the top of porcelain pot. The prototype is a basket to be placed at the top edge of the porcelain pot. The latest version of the tray features a three-layer structure with each layer being approximately 10 cm apart in height. And each layer includes a cup shaped structure to hold 3.5 inch orchid plants, enabling forests to easily place and adjust the orchids to their desired direction and height. Additionally, the tray integrates stake holes, as you can see in the third model on the top line. Stake holes is used to support the long orchid stems stay upright. The stake holes are also applied at the bottom of each layer, giving the florist the freedom to poke the stack at any place they want, enhancing the design flexibility. The design is also stackable, greatly saving storage space. Furthermore, it is equipped with three electric devices to ensure that it is securely fastened inside the flower container, enhancing stability. After addressing the issue with EPS, now we shift our attention to the challenge posed by the porcelain part, including their fragility, heavy weight, high transportation costs, large storage space requirement, and also waste disposal concerns. To overcome these challenges, our R&D team designed this detachable flower stand, which consists of four parts as illustrated in the line drawings. For example, the first one contains part A, B, C, and D, and the overall height can reach 125 centimeters. The smallest one contains part A and C, and the overall height can reach 60 centimeters, which is about the same with the porcelain part. And each part is available in five colors, offering a variety of color combinations. And also, the part A, C, and D can be stacked individually to save storage space. For transport convenience, they can also nest within each other, making it easier for movers to carry. As I showed in the left side of the slide, you can see that the floor stand can be flipped for use too, offering a different display option. This study implemented an interesting comparative test to evaluate efficiency with the traditional assembly method against the innovative solution. On the left, you can see the material used in each test. Test 1 used the traditional EPS and porcelain part. Test 2, we used the innovative orchid assembly tray with the detachable flower stand. Kindly note that test 2 was conducted three times to ensure that all participants were familiar with the innovative tools, thus providing a fair comparison of the assembly time. And to the right, we divided the participant into two groups. Group 1, the florist group with shiny stars above their head. There's group 2, the brand new non-florist group. They are individual without floral arrangement experience. This 
participants who are recruited from five research entities labeled as company A through E. Each research entity designated one florist and one non florist to participate in the test. Here we have the performance result of our forest group. The vertical axis of this chart shows the assembly time, while the horizontal axis lists our participants from five research entities. The white bar represents the assembly time taken to complete text one using the traditional EPS and postlink path. The gray bar represents the assembly time taken to complete text two, conducted three times using the innovative solution. On average, text 1 took 29 minutes. By the third conduction of text 2, the assembly time was further reduced to just 8.6 minutes. This indicates that our flow rate group was 3.3 times faster with the innovative solution than with the traditional assembly method. This is the artwork created by our florist group in text 1 and text 2. In text 2, our florist group used the detachable flower stand containing part A, C, and D. And the overall height with the orchid flowers could reach 170 centimeters. Thus, it looked much higher than the porcelain parted one. Now let's see the performance of our non-florist group. Here, I would like to explain, due to the complexity of the traditional assembly method, our non-forest group failed to challenge text 1. Therefore, it shows only the gray bars of text 2. For your information, the training period for beginners typically took 6 months. With the innovative solution, the beginners can quickly get familiar with the assembly after just 30 minutes training. Remarkably, the average assembly time of the third conduction of text 2 is 12 minutes, which is two times faster than the florist group with traditional assembly method. And this is the hour created by the non florist group after just 30 minutes training. So you can imagine how you would like after one hour or two hour training. Now let's have a quick review and explore the new trends and new normal brought by our innovative solution covering three key segments. For employers, the future is about efficiency. Previously, a worker could handle only 16 parts a day and the often had to work over time. Now look at that. With the innovative solution, they are like superheroes in the party world, managing 53 parts a day within regular working hours leaving work with energy to enjoy the evening. This effectively address the uh, labor shortage problem in the peak season and uh, the eccentric workforce during the off-peak season, moving towards smaller but better paid and more skilled team in the future. Additionally, the training period for beginner has reduced from half an year to just half an hour significantly reduce the drain of company resources. For employees, the benefits are clear, higher pay, lower overtime rates, and no more backbreaking work of feeding the EPS in the porcelain part, which often cause the neck, shoulder, and the waist discomfort to the florist. Movers also benefit, as they no longer need to carry over 10 kilograms, for display as a unit in large venue or building without elevator. Now they can first set up the lighter flower stand at the pointed positions, put the pre-assembled flower display on the top, and this significantly reduces the physical strain on worker, creating a more worker-friendly environment. For consumers, our innovative solution brings two key changes. First, it effectively address the waste disposal problem associated with the traditional flower display. Secondly, it changed how large phenomenon part are purchased. Let's delve deeper into this. 
in Taiwan, the choice of porcelain plot varies by occasion. For example, black for funeral and red for events such as election, wedding, or opening ceremony. Typically, after getting an order, a florist should select a suitable porcelain plot based on the occasion, then fill it with EPS before arranging the flowers. Now please direct your attention to the picture in the bottom right. This picture shows the pre-assembled flower display using the innovative orchid assembly tray. In this way, consumer can choose their favorite flower display in advance and uh, even customize the, uh, their flower stand by choosing their preferred height and color combinations, such as I show above the picture. This will greatly enhance the buying experience. Over time, these trends will define a new normal, establishing a more efficient, more worker-friendly environment that attracts more young talent, and creating a more environmentally conscious landscape in the Phenopsis gift making industry. Now, it's showtime. These are the masterpieces created by our cooperative flower shop, showcasing the vibrant Phenopsis flowers and also the creative color combination of the flower stand. These three are my personal favorite. I hope you like them too. And this is the flower display using an opening celebration. They are suitable for outdoor activity too. And this is the photo shows the flower display in indoor ceremony. Thank you for listening.